first video on the future of work. I'm Griffin O'Shaughnessy, the founder and CEO of Canopy Advisory Group. In this video, I'll focus on why flexibility continues to be at the core of this conversation. So first, let's define flexibility. According to Slack's Future Forum, which is one of the most widely read surveys on workplace trends, the term flexibility includes both when people work and also where people work. Our research suggests that there are three primary reasons why flexibility is key to the future of work. One, it decreases burnout. Two, it makes economic sense. And three, it creates more diverse teams. And data time and time again shows that diverse teams add more to the bottom line. According to the Future Forum, burnout is still on the rise globally, with 42% of the workforce reporting it. However, workers with more flexibility report less burnout with greater productivity and focus. They have less stress and anxiety and a stronger work-life balance. This is why workers are demanding flexibility. It allows them to be their best selves at home and at work, which makes them more motivated, leads to more creative ideas, and it increases their output and their energy around work. The second reason why flexibility is key is that it just makes economic sense. What we found is that many roles don't require a full-time employee. So adding fractional or project-based professionals saves valuable company resources. Further, since flexibility increases job satisfaction, it leads to less turnover in the workforce. This is critical for an organization's bottom line, since the average cost of replacing a single employee with a $100,000 salary is more than $34,000. The final reason why flexibility is a key to the future of work is that it creates more diverse teams. When employers limit their search for talent to the immediate area around their headquarters, and they mandate a nine to five schedule, they dramatically shrink their talent pool and they miss out on some of the nation's top and most diverse talent. Further, by creating the space for work to happen both in person, think certain meetings and bonding events happen with real-time brainstorming sessions, along with work that can get done more asynchronously, like deep work with large chunks of time that are meeting free, using new digital tools that make it easier and more available, you're creating a work environment where a more diverse team with different styles of communication can thrive. This way of work is quickly transitioning from a nice to have to a must have for businesses and the bottom line. The pandemic opened our eyes to a new way to work and there's no going back. As Adam Grant said, we know flexibility is the future of work. The big question is how. So we hope you can join us next week on April 12th for the second installment of our video series, where we'll dive into how to build a culture of connection, even in a flexible work environment. Look forward to seeing you then.